So I'm just pulling out of Saxon Outdoor Supply. I sent Colton a uh, message asking if he wanted anything. He says, I'm good. So I'm on my way over to the dock now. I'm gonna meet him up at seven points. And right now, I think that makes total sense, doesn't it? Seven points is the dock this time of year. I'm still 30 minutes ahead, so I'm the first one here, but Colton's been ready. This is probably all old hat, you know, for the charters and you guys that go on charters all the time, but man, I can't wait to get this started. So I'm gonna get my gear on, go say hi, wake them up. <laughs> it's chilly out. I think it might be two degrees or <laughs> something like that. So there's a little bit of wind and it's chilly out. Um, realistically, I don't know what the temperature is. Realistically though, 40s. I want to say it's 40s-ish, but the sun is full. So I got a black warm outfit plus the sun is full, so it should heat me up pretty good. I think I'm fine, but it's going to be a chilly day. Just as a caveat, make sure you take care of all your business before you go out on your charter. Whenever you schedule this, nothing ruins a fishing trip faster than needing this while you're out there. So don't do that to the charter. Don't put yourself in that situation. Take care of business before you're on the water. I'm going to go take care of a little business. I might spend a few minutes here just walking the shoreline. Because I have a little bit of time. Just getting some shots of like water conditions, clarity, water levels, you'll be able to tell. But you guys can see I'm bundled up pretty good. I don't have much for gear. Really, it's just camera stuff. I am going to bring a little water with me, but hardly anything. And then I'll walk down and say hi to our old pal, Colton Dingy. I made it down to seven points. I'm set up here with the perch taken, laker taker, striper annihilator, the walleye guide. <laughs> what else? <laughs> the catfish dude. No, what the rhymes with catfish though? Tell me something in the comments what rhymes with catfish. Colton Dinges has me out on the Dinges dinghy. And it's already geared up. It's overly geared up. I think what we're probably going to use is about 10% of what he's prepared to use. Bob, you ready? Yes, sir. <laughs> get some fish. Let's go get them. <laughs> I like when the sun's out. Gotcha. Hey guys, there's a couple catches here where I forgot to, in the excitement, I forgot to turn the microphone on so there was no audio. So the video is too good to just drop it though. Colton Dinges put us on a double that's about to happen. Right now, I have the first fish of the day, and Bob in the background is about to catch one on his own, essentially, using the live scope that Colton has uh, been teaching us how to use, which props to the charters that are out there actually teaching. That's a big deal whenever we come out and sit with you. It's just it's top-notch chartering whenever you actually train us when you teach us. But here we are. Getting the first fish in the boat, and Bob is, uh, of course, he's really interested in the fish we just caught, and he's almost uh, distracted, you know. But as you'll watch, as uh, we're working this fish, he's spit the hook like they'll often do in the net. It's a nice trout, too, but Colton's working the net there, and I'm putting the fishing rod away. I'm thinking pictures and video and stuff right now, and there it was. Bob just set the hook on his first trout of the day. Quickly, Colton gives me the big one here, and Bob's bringing up his first of the day, and it turns into a wonderful double. Uh, at least I had the foresight to actually flip the camera around a little bit so we could see this net. And there it is, it's a perfect net job by our charter, Colton Dinges, and there it is. It's the first fish in the boat of the day, and it was a double up, caught vertically jigging. Guys, that's how it's done, and right now I think you're going to see one of the happiest guides on the lake. Colton Dinges knows he did a good job, and it's always fun to catch doubles, and I'm just glad to be a participant. And Bob, too, he's back here checking, admiring his fish. Just a great moment out on the water with friends. We're taking a couple photos. Bob's going to keep his. I'm going to release mine, 
and uh, we're going to keep on jigging through the day. So we're going to catch a couple fish today, and they are 100%, all of them caught, vertically jigging. I jigged up two with uh, the heavy spoon that I've been showing you in my videos, and then the rest were these soft-bodied, uh, like, fluke baits with a heavy jig head that uh, Colton has found that they work really good. And uh, proofs in the pudding, man. We put a lot of fish in the boat today. I'll say a lot of fish. We put a good representative smack down on the Lakers at Raystown Lake especially for the cold water temperatures and uh, water temperatures was measuring right around 39 degrees there it goes all right so bob's going to do me the favor he's going to release it here so keep it keep hold of it uh -huh. go ahead and put it under the water it's a little bit of a stretch can you get it and point his head toward me okay Ooh, that's that's right. just dip him in the water he'll stop kicking and that's where the audio ended so fortunately with the gopro i had a little audio that i could throw in there and that was on the release bob and i high fives fish returned back out there you guys can go catch them so in this moment i realized that i had not turned the microphone on so i'm going to flip it on we're going to get back into fishing here. Microphone on. No video. No sound. Well, I got the video. So, <laughs> all right. <laughs> so we were jigging for a solid hour and nothing, and then we doubled up. So I had the audio shut off, but you won't even notice. I'll edit it in. It doesn't matter. <laughs> guys are returning to my channel and uh, you haven't subbed yet I'd appreciate if you take a moment and just do that and thank you for that support and this catch Bob got onto this fish faster than I could actually get the camera on he almost had this in the boat because vertically jigging it just seems to happen like that it's really quick so Bob's vertically jigging one of the soft plastic baits that Colton turned us on to and he just uh, does a perfect net job he's got it in the boat quick and slick and professional so bob is not new to the sport of fishing he has uh, caught many many lakers and the joy that he has for it is apparent in this little section right here so much so that i considered using this as a thumbnail but i felt like i needed to represent uh, colton's charter and uh, that's the only reason i didn't use this but i do believe that this shot and this experience this moment here with bob this represents the culture, the fishing community that we have here at Raystown Lake. So congratulations, Bob. What a great experience. I'm so glad we got to go out and do some fishing together, man. <laughs> Other than me forgetting to turn on the audio, we're doing all right then. That is uh, fish. That's hookup number four and three in the boat because this guy lost one. What you didn't hear me say is Colton's keeping these alive pretty good in here. Just a little bit of water and trout are doing just fine. So they'll be fresh whenever you get them home. Those are perfect eaters. But we're marking a few, so I of course want to get back to it. So let's do that. All right, so I snagged one on the head. He came up so fast, guys. I thought it might've just been a stick, but Colton's handled. We're just gonna toss him back in. Unless Bob, you want that one too? Yeah. <laughs> okay, going, what is that now? That's six. Four in the boat. Five hookups, four in the boat. Live scope is amazing, guys. So, Colt, what all do you fish with uh, with your uh, live scope? What all do you fish for? Bait. Bait. So bait. Fish for or views? Say that again. Fish for? Yeah, what are you fishing? Oh, I catch everything. Everything. But I bet you it, it, it probably is killer for bait. It is. I can watch the cast neck and I don't talk. Is this? This is the record? Yeah. Right here is proof that 
that the muskies at the boat launch and the striper is feeding frenzy doesn't uh, murder them all or the guy yeah. back in his boat rent down in doesn't chop them all off or the big bluegills don't eat them either so nice there's why you buy your trout stamp shoot so i get the i get the award for smallest fish of the day so we'll pretend that one counts <laughs> That can't be the one we were marking. Yeah, that was it. I'm confident it wasn't it. I said it wasn't very big. Not very big. <laughs> it's you know like the size of the bait down there. I can see didn't it chasing it. Some <laughs> That's nuts, man. Uh, I'm, I'm convinced now that trout eat trout. Alright. I gave it slack. So it happens quick, guys. It's hard. So it in the head. Came up like a log. That's just how it is. There's something about it like they get stunned or something, you know? I'll hold them up for you. I can't even see the monitor. Alright, so the sun's in my face, but there you go. Watch it, them GoPros. fishing guys I'll show you what I Colton's got a hook up on these little soft body jigs I'll show you what we're using I don't know about that yeah he's got to figure it out Is that now? Eight. Eight fish in the boat. And then uh, two we're not talking about anymore. Yeah. Hey Colton, real quick. Hey, thanks for having us out, man. Yeah. Here, handshake. <laughs> Bob, hey. Don't worry about it, bro. I got my glove on, man. <laughs> anyway, so that's going to complete the video. Guys, thanks so much to Colton. Colton Dinges, uh, Charters. I'll link them below. What was final count? Eight lost. Six or seven? Yeah. Caught eight. Got a few hits. <laughs> eight in the boat. So. Yeah, I would have caught a dozen if these guys could reel fish. Colton Dinges. Charters, link below, hit them up. All right, guys, thanks for all the support, love, respect. See you on the next one. Hey, and remember to use the John before you go out on the boat. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks so much. See ya.